Right. Sonny's turn for a little bit of video again. Did very well earlier. And it came straight on with no fuss. So we're going along Holder's Coombe. It's a bit complicated with the different cameras. I've been sorting out the videos. I have to be extra careful now after losing one of my big hikes, which was split between Sony and Kodak and accidentally formatted and erased a whole day of Kodak with some beautiful, beautiful images that I'd taken. But, uh, it's a learning curve. I was very busy that day and for some reason I thought without but I'd never checked my book. I, I've got a video log book and I when I looked at it I thought you haven't written in there Sheila about Kodak. You haven't you haven't put anything down. And I thought maybe it would be stored somewhere else but what it was it was on the memory card but the memory card I formatted it and basically, it wiped all the images off. Everything. That was quite... But, like I said, learning curve. And I go out that way a lot. It was over sand, it was over the quarry. It was a beautiful day for photos. I was really proud of my new camera. Sony was a back... No, Sony was the main camera, always is. Thank goodness it works, and it's not playing up now. <sighs> now I remember all the stream here. <sighs> I don't know why I video every time I come here. It's always different. I'm older. So it might be a slightly different time of year I'm visiting this time. Quite dry the stream, really. Quite dry. <sighs> this is one big circular hike I've done today. It's one of the biggest ones I've done, actually, out here for a long time. But I felt the need to do it. I felt the need. My knee will probably tell me you ain't going out for a week, girl. But, uh, we'll see. I do give it rest. It's had two days rest from another walk i done. I've been up over there. That takes you up. Well, if anything, if this is anything to go by, the streams further up aren't going to give me any problems for jumping them or crossing them. No. I saw a, a horse with a very young calf here. Um, young foal. I think she must have given birth to her. I remember that. Right, off we go. Very quiet. Very quiet. You wonder what's done that, don't you? That is a big wee out in the open, isn't it? That's a very big wee. I can't imagine a human doing that out here in the middle of, you know? It's big for a foot and dog to do as well. Must be, must be a, a deer. Echoes of childhood when we used to come with a school. Just a reminder, everyone. We used to come out on the bus. The whole school, it was the junior school, the whole school came. We all had pet lunches. Oh, yeah. There were games and nature trails, building dams. Running up these hills and getting stung by the wild ants. 
<sighs> yeah. But we never roamed too far when we were that young. We mainly stayed in the coom, all of this up here. And uh, we didn't really explore like you do when you're bigger and whatever. That came later. In many ways, much later for me, but it wasn't until I'd retired that I really got stuck out here and did some serious hiking. I used to be a runner, so. And I had all my kids, so I was busy working, nursing, teaching. And, uh. It's just. Never, no time to walk and reflect like I do now. But I've, um. I'm sharing stuff to my tree, my family tree, because I would love to have heard, as I've said before, my. Voices of my ancestors. I love to hear how they were feeling, what they were doing. That would have been so great to hear their voices. My ancestors, my descendants are going to think, you're never going to stop hearing me, are they? Unless, of course, everyone, everything gets nuked. All right, over and out, I'm going to take a picture. Let's turn that off. Over there, I used to imagine my sister Jude sat as I had to cross the stream after I was going home. She would sit there and say goodbye to me. That was just after she died. I used to think that she was going to wave goodbye. Now I'm going the opposite direction. Across here, someone's done a little, little stepping stone there for us. If you go up that way, that's, um, oh God, what's the name of that one again? Oh, I just I can't, I'm sorry, I can't remember that name of that coombe. That's a nice walk, and then there's, you can go up over the hill. And uh, there's two forks, there's another fork in a minute, and that will take you up Slaughterhouse Coombe, which we always called, we always called it Holford Glen. We always called all this Holford Glen when I was a kid, you know? We didn't really distinguish the Coombs. It was just all Holford Glen. All beautiful. It's tidied up a lot. It doesn't look so much like a graveyard. But uh, it's doing all right. It's looking good. It's looking very good indeed. Of course, it never used to be quite as muddy looking as this. And there used to be a lot more wood around. Don't forget, they still hunt in this, in these coombs. They hunt here. This coombe I like, but always like the most, was called, it's called Slaughterhouse Coombe. But I never found that out, <coughs> that it was called that. I never looked on the map in those days. It's a place where they can corner the stags easy, I think. Oh, I just can't get over this place. It's so gorgeous. I'm taking pictures. Wait a minute. <coughs> Oh, 
Oh, I'm still videoing. Videoing, not very well. <coughs> Some sort of hawk up the top there. And the crows chase them, the ravens do, because the hawks know there's bird's eggs. So that's often you often see a large black raven chasing these hawks. Yeah, it's been doing it for centuries, haven't they? Yes, it's, uh, it has widened quite a bit, I think. And of course it will look more lush and higher the vegetation when the, once the ferns start appearing. You know what I mean? There we go, we're going across that. So that's, you go up there. It's a place we went as children to play in the streams and have our picnics. It's now, I've realised it's called Slaughterhouse Coombe. Um, it's, a, it's probably one of the quietest coombs about one of them. Right, there's always somewhere to cross there. If I find, I can't cross here. Oh, I think we can do it here. There we are. It's very, very low. It's not even summer yet and it's low. Oh, look at all that up there. Isn't it gorgeous, everyone? I'm going to turn off a minute to take a picture.